Brittany says, that is where I am at. I started in September and only got my first two recruits the end of March. I am still fighting being discouraged about this. It's hard, Brittany. It's hard. It's hard not to feel discouraged. But just know that you're not alone. Other people feel discouraged and it's truly just a matter of you working through that frustration and coming out the other end. We've got to work our business in a 90 day cycle. It takes 90 solid days to build momentum. So if you first start your business and you're super excited and you're sending out samples and you're following up and everything's going great and la 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 and you're into your business about 45 days, even two months and you're like, oh, I've only made two sales and I've sent out 30 sample packages. Yeah, well, that's about right. Because remember, people need to be followed up with more than three times, sometimes five or 10 times. And if you do the two, two, two cycle, two days, two weeks, two months, you're only going to get three touch points in in your first two months. And then by the time you get to 90 days, you'll have three touch points in on everybody that you've sampled and you'll be starting to do your next touch point. And that's when you start to see the momentum go. People take time to try their samples and then they take time to think about what they thought about them. Most people aren't going to run to the computer and immediately place an order. A lot of people require you to reach out to them to prompt them to order or you to reach out to them and plant that seed about them joining. You know, you'd be really good at this too. It would be really fun if we could posh together. You know, I have a vendor event coming up in May. You should totally join so we can do it together. Plant the seed however you need to plant the seed and then continue to follow up. It does take time. Never compare your journey with somebody else's and you'll hear that all of the time and you will still compare your journey to somebody else's. I know because I do it too. Don't do it. Save yourself the heartache. It's, it's, it's just silly. But anyway, blah, blah, blah. You guys, anybody, anybody can do this business. It just takes you being consistent and persistent and fighting through those dark days. I have dark days too. It happens, but when you stick with it and you keep going through the motions and you keep putting posh on the people and you keep following up and you don't give in to excuses because listen, any one of us can make up a myriad of excuses as to why we can't work our business or why we worked our business and it failed or why it's starting to fail. We can all make up excuses. The bottom line is it's on our shoulders. You want to have a successful business? It's on your shoulders. You want to have a failing business? It's on your shoulders. You can do this. Anybody can do this. We all have issues that hold us back. We all have them. I promise. But when you work through them and you keep working this business and you keep sharing the posh and you keep following up, you can build a business. It can totally happen. It happens all of the time. Even if you joined a year ago or three months ago or two days ago, we all have the same opportunity. And it's a great opportunity, guys. The world has not even seen posh yet. There's still so many people in the US that have never heard about posh. Never mind when we go international in a couple of years. Just saying. Heather said, I've been with Posh since February of last year and it took a few months to really get some traction. If you don't tell people about it, they'll never know. People watch you to make sure you are serious. Yes, Heather. So when you first joined Posh, I like to say, well, I don't like to say it, but the way I say it, your friends are waiting for you to fail. That's just it. They don't want you to fail. They're not literally sitting there saying, oh God, I can't wait for Heather to fail. No, but they're waiting for you to go away because hi, I don't know if you're new on Facebook guys, but everybody and their mother, brother, sister, and dog has a home-based business. And everybody and their mother, sister, brother, and dog posts about their home-based business. And most of them are posting the bullshit stock graphics that are boring that you just wanna scroll by. So I say your friends are waiting for you to fail because everybody and their mother starts a home-based business and everybody and their mother posts about it on Facebook. So what I say to you is show them. Show them that you're not going to fail and think outside of the box. Use your moneymaker, put your moneymaker and your products on your Facebook and do it consistently and persistently. You don't want to be annoying, but it's not annoying when you share your face. It's not annoying when you share a face of you and your husband doing a face mask together or you and your son doing a face mask together. Or one time my dog was passed out because I took him to the dog park. I put a little sleepy, sleep, sleepy sleep stick on him and took a picture. 
dogs need posh too. No, I didn't rub the sleepy sleep stick on him, but it was a poshy post that was not salesy and was not spammy and got people to either ha ha on it or like it or whatever. I don't care. Your friends might not like and they might not comment on your posts, but I promise you they are watching and they are in some way waiting for you to fail because I don't know the percentage, let's say 90% of people that join direct sales are going to post about it for maybe a week, maybe a month, maybe two months, and then they're just going to die a slow death and go away. And that's it for their home-based business. So that's what our friends are waiting for us to do. They're waiting for our home-based business to fall away or for us to launch our Sensi business next week or whatever. And when you don't fail, when you work consistently for 90 days, that's when you'll start to see the popcorn popping, right? You put a popcorn bag in the microwave and for the, I haven't popped popcorn in many a moon, so forgive me for not knowing, but let's say the whole bag takes three minutes. For the first like 90 seconds, you might hear like one pop, maybe. It's the same way with your business. For the first 90 days, you're not gonna hear a lot of popping, but you still need to keep that microwave spinning, right? You still need to be putting posh on people, you still need to be following up, you still need to be asking for the sale, asking for the booking, asking them to join your team. And when you consistently do that after that 90 seconds or after that 90 days, it's all of a sudden pop, 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 right? And then you have a whole bag of popcorn or what I like to say, a whole bag of leads, right? That's when you have a business. That's what we call, uh, God, momentum. I want to say motiventum because I was watching Alyssa's presentation. That's what we call momentum. And once you have momentum, you're unstoppable. Why? Because you're getting sales. It's making you feel good about yourself. So you're working your business that much harder. And when you work your business that much harder, you're getting that many more sales and you're getting that many more teammates. And I don't mean to make it sound oversimplified because it's a lot of work to keep that microwave spinning for 90 seconds, right? But it's absolutely worth it. And you've only got to put in that initial amount of work for three months. You've got to really focus for 90 days, three months, however you want to count it. 12 weeks when you are hyper focused and you are doing your business to the best of your ability, your momentum will grow. And when you come out of that 90 days, the sales and the momentum that you're feeling is going to propel you to do it again. And the more times that you put in a solid 90 day stretch of work, the more the snowball builds, right? So uh, another analogy, cause I'm just a fan of analogies and I promise I am going to get off this feed at some point. <laughs> Um, our business is like we're rolling a snowball, right? And we're rolling our snowball uphill. And so at first, you no, know, it's a little tough, but you're rolling, rolling. And then as that snowball gets bigger and you're getting towards the top of the mountain, it's harder. The snowball is heavier. It's so much harder to keep going. When you're almost to the top, it's so hard to keep going. And that's where most people are going to quit, get too weak, let the snowball roll right over them and down the hill and give up. But the people that don't give up are going to reach the peak with that big snowball that they've built over 90 days. And then when they let that snowball roll over the other side, it gets bigger than they ever could have imagined. And it does that all on its own, just from the momentum that it, that it gained by, by rolling down the hill. So don't give up on your snowball. Don't let it roll back on you. Get it to the top and then watch it grow on the other side. That's what your business will do when you stay committed. Thank you guys so much for having me. I hope that you learned lots and I hope that I inspired you in some way, shape or form to grow your business. And I wish you guys the best of luck in your businesses.